Uh, it is a bit unfortunate that I ran out of battery and also running out of space. So I think I have to speed this along. Uh, we were at the uh, Mega Chai Research just now. Yeah. So the next one is uh, Gold Star. I sent it at a different timing with these. So it came back uh, not together. I remember this is not as nice as the others condition wise. So I don't expect as good. Um, let's see what we can get with these. Uh, okay, seven. Seven is pretty good. I like the art for this actually. Along with the... This is uh, Gyarados from Delta. Very colourful one. Um, those are... Th that one and this one I think is the top two that I like for Gyarados. Art uh, anyway. Just looking for them. Okay. Eh? Oh, okay, okay. I do have another... Evolutions to try and match the... the well, if I can get pairs, uh, that is tens. Um, I didn't put it in the same timing, not sure why. However, one more chance. Let's see if this one can do better than the other one. The other one was... Huh? Excellent, the min 6, even worse? Jeez, oh, come on. When I send this, I really don't see man much issues with it as well. At, at all. I don't see much issues at all. So, unless there's some fine stuff, some fine issues that I cannot see at all, I think I'm going to have to look at it thoroughly. Again. Never mind. I'll look at it thoroughly again. Another time. That is disappointing, man. Worse and worse. So, the next card. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, this was left over from my nephew when he gave up uh, Pokemon cards. Uh, my first Shadowless slab. <laughs> I didn't even know I had a Shadowless until my friend of mine uh, asked me to go and look up my stuff. And lo and behold, a Shadowless Venusaur. Um, not the best of condition. I'm happy to get it slapped either way. And a good number would be... Yep, 7 is good enough. I gotta show my nephew this. Happy enough for my first um, Shadowless slab. 7 is fine. Didn't expect any 10s for this anyway. This is just too poor condition. Well, to be a 10. Hmm. One more CP6 to try and see if I can do the 10. So far, it's an 8 and a 9. Hopefully, third time lucky. And get a 10 for this. CP6 Zard. And we shall be having a... Oh, I don't see G. Done. Another 9. Looks like it's back to the drawing board again. Have to try and get another copy and try for another 10 again. Darn it. Ah. Okay. Um, Dark Charizard. I think in a separate sub, I did another one to try and get at least a 10 for one of these. Uh, either this one or the next one. It would be great if we can get this one. Condition is pretty nice for this card. And... No, I don't see that G there for Jemin. Okay, oh, 9 is pretty good, I think. 9 is pretty good, 9 is pretty good. I can't be too, too disappointed on this. I actually quite like the art for this. This art is uh, quite different from all your normal arts. All the roaring and fire breathing and all that. So, nice one. Hmm. Now, this one will not be sold no matter what happens on the grade. Because this is special. This one is a Father's Day present for my son. Because on Father's Day last year, he asked me to open up one of our last ETBs for Eden Fates. And lo and behold, um, it is packed fresh, but as you know, Eden Fates packed fresh doesn't mean Jack sometimes. And oh ho ho, I see the G. Yep, nice one, nice one. This is a very meaningful Father's Day present. I'm going to have to show my son this later on. it will be tough to see that. He would be happy to see that. Ah, uh, next I have my Pika Ponchos. Oh, Pika Ponchos are always cute. I love the hollow and the colour and the art as well for this. Uh, I broke the box myself, so I expect it to be pretty good because they are very nice looking. Yes, Jamin 10. Nice. Uh, this one comes together with the Magic Up as well. Both are from the same box, so I... Uh, well, I, I hope they are going to be both tens anyway. You can never tell, but Japanese cards, new ones are a little better chances. And yes, woohoo! 
I also bought a box of the Rayquaza Poncho Pika. Um, not sure if this is the one though, because I bought a different pair as well, separately, to send in together. No, I didn't send together. Uh, one was July, one was August. But there are two pairs. I am hoping for tens or so to follow these. And the Rayquaza is a ah midnight. Okay, maybe this is not the box break one. I still got a chance. I still got a chance. Um, this should be together the sequential ones. So if this is not box break, then this one maybe will. Eh, I got ten more. Okay, that's confusing. Um, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. Still got two more. Okay, two more. This one is a yes. So at least I know there is a pair of tens. It would be great if I can get sequential tens. So this shiny ray poncho pika hopefully can get a ten and get sequential tens. Come on, you can do this. You are good condition ones. Oh no. So this is weird. Pair of nines and pair of tens, but then mm, not sequential at all. I'll probably keep the tens, even though they're not sequential. Just go on with the set of nines or something. Oh, okay. These are the super rare cards, I believe. This art, when I bought it, um, the photo looks nicer, but when I saw it in real person, it's a little bit OC. The person selling it insisted it's the same card, so I just bought it anyway because it was for my Hidden Fates uh, Master Set. But in the end, I got a better one and I just sent this off. So, if it's a little bit OC... Oh, I saw the G! <laughs> Fantastic! Even if it was a little bit OC compared to the previous one that I had. And that's for sure, this one is a uh, better centering. 10 as well. Well, 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 I can't complain on this one then. Now, the main dish. These three, I feel that they are super rare because... And you're thinking, what the heck am I doing with Charmander setting in? Because it's a no rarity symbol. That's why I think it's a uh, super rare. In my opinion, these I think are more rare than the first edition English... Uh, uh, first editions because... Less is produced. The run was a few months only. So less run print runs than the uh, first edition English. So I feel that these supposed to be more rare. However, none of these are in uh, perfect condition. So I don't know what to expect from them. As long as I don't get a 1 out of them, I suppose. Hey, pretty good. 7. Uh, this is the best condition among the 3. As you can probably guess, it's going to be a whole line of it. When you got a Charmeleon, you have a Charmander. A Charmander, you have a Charmeleon, and of course that will be the Zard. Um, this is worse off than the Charmander. So, if we can... Okay, 5 is not too bad. 5 is not too bad. I know it's going to be worse. Um, among all the subs here, this is the only card I really know the results for. Because, knowing the no rarity Zard is out, and I don't know the results for it, uh, it's going to drive me crazy. I can't sleep. So <laughs> this one, I really know the numbers. 5, 7. Unfortunately, this is lower. This is a 4. But it is still a no rarity. And no rarity is art. I really know it's bad because of the whites. And the scratches and the corners. I nearly sold this. Together with a, a whole few binders of Japanese cards last time when I first started out. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep the Japanese ones. I actually let someone see it. That person made me wait for him for half an hour in an establishment full of people which I've been in their first time. And he had looked at all the photos of the binders already and he still waited for me, asked me to wait for him for so long. And he took a look at the binder again and he told me that the binders are not worth much. And guess what? This was inside. <laughs> in your face. So... Super happy this came back. Not missing. Four is good enough for me. 
we'll work hard to see if I can find the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.